So let's take a different angle on tax and look at it from the accountant's perspective. So what I've got here is my typical form that I send out and that deducts my fee from the tax preparations. As you can see, it's a Word file. Let's close that down. And now what I want to do is move over to Acrobat. And what I'm going to do is go to Tools and use the Create PDF function and turn this into a PDF. So simply browse my files, go to the desktop, locate my file, and then convert that to a PDF with all the fidelity um, of the Word file maintained. Let's move now to Prepare Form. And what I want to do is I want to prepare this for having signatures. Now click at Start, but down below you'll see you can also do auto detections of any particular form fields. In this case, there's none. So at the top now, we get an arrangement of little uh, icons there. So these are things like uh, name fields, drop downs, radio buttons, signature blocks, date fields, etc. And I can easily click on one of these and drag it onto the canvas. So let's click onto a normal text frame and put that in there as the name. And I'm going to quickly go through and extend the size of the block. And then I'm going to double click on this to bring up the properties. Let's give the field a name. Let's put some tool tips in there as an instruction. And let's go and make this applicable to sign it number two and also make it required. I can play with appearance. I can do options. Uh, there's a number of things we can do with the particular block. Let's drag another one on now. This is going to be my address. So pretty much repeating the same function. Let's also make this applicable for signer number two and also required. Now let's look at a different example. Let's drag in a drop down. So this one's going to be for me to fill out before it goes out to my end customer. So let's drag the field across. Let's double click on that. And this time let's make that for signer one. That's going to be for me. So I give my field, my field a name. I would go through and do the tool tip. We'll fast track that and also make it required. Now, in this particular case here, I'm going to put two options. So I'm going to put in some text for one option and then an order to text for the other and add those in. And these are going to be my choices. Now, I'm going to deselect the order as well because I don't want that there as the default. And then I'm going to click the done. And that is now a functioning uh, drop down list. Let's drag out another field in here for the invoice. And then repeat the same one then for the amount. So let's drag them into position and do the usual. But later on, we're going to actually upload this form as a template into Adobe Sign. And I'm going to show you how we can add some more power to these fields, apply some rules, uh, some business logic, etc., to make this more powerful and mitigate any risk of someone not filling it out correctly. So let's actually go to the banking part now. Let's quickly throw in four forms. I'm going to quickly go through and set those up in world record time. And then I'm going to go through and make the signer ones. Let's put a signature block into the bottom here. Let's once again drag it out and fill the area. As you like a big generous area to sign with. In there. Let's make it required. And also let's put a date field in here. Now this is an auto date field. The document will generate this itself. And that'll actually capture the date that my customer actually signed this. That's important for a legal uh, court of law. This shows exactly what date it was. Because this is going to be a locked historic document once we finish with this. 